As beautiful as the idea of giving birth to a living being can be, the process of getting to that point can be very rigorous. And if you thought humans had it worse, then you just might lose your mind when you find out how bad it is for animals. Indeed, these animals give birth to their offspring in the most terrifying ways you could ever think of. So, in today's video, we will be bringing you some of the craziest ways animals give birth. From paralyzing and using spiders as incubators, to birthing eggs almost the same size as their body. Make sure to stick around to the end to have your mind blown. 10. Tarantula Hawk Wasp This may just be the most extreme birth process you can imagine. The hawk wasps go out of their way to paralyze a tarantula and lay their egg on it. A fun fact is that the larger the spider they catch, the better an incubator it is for the eggs. So, the mama tarantula hawk wasp would hunt down a large spider, sting and paralyze it, and lay just one egg on the spider's body. Once it's done, the wasp will then proceed to drag the spider to its burrow, where it'll live. Like that's not bad enough, once the egg hatches, the offspring is left with no choice but to eat its way out of the spider. Number 9. Goats and Kids while the face of goats may be very strange, it becomes the least of your concerns once you realize how they give birth. Usually, these goats go through a gestation period of about five months before giving birth to their baby goats, or more correctly, kids. As the mother goat goes into labor, a sort of bubble is initially pushed out first before the kid. This bubble, called the amniotic membrane, is usually filled with amniotic fluid, which surrounds the kid as it grows in the doe's womb, acting as a nutrient exchange cushion. After some time, the kid is delivered while still in its amniotic sac. What follows after is the mother cleaning the kid by licking and eating the sac. Before you question the goat's choices for having a snack immediately after giving birth, this process is, in fact, very important. It ensures that the baby isn't choked and can breathe. And in the end, we have a happy and healthy mother and kid. 8. Seahorses The birth process in these seahorses is quite different from their land counterparts. In the case of this sea creature, the male is not only responsible for providing the sperm, but is also responsible for carrying the fetuses during the gestation period till they give birth. The mating process is also quite interesting. Seahorses observe a mating ritual that involves dancing, after which the female seahorse deposits her eggs into the male's brew to be fertilized. Once she's done depositing, the female continues with her life, while the male's belly gradually increases in size as the babies start to grow in his pouch. Once it's time for the babies to be born, just like humans, the male seahorse starts to experience contractions as it sprays the younglings into the water. Keep in mind that one male seahorse can birth around 2,000 babies at a go. And once that's over, he prepares himself for yet another batch of eggs. Unfortunately, for all its carrying and laboring, the seahorse may never win parent of the year as their babies are usually left to fend for themselves once they're sprayed out. Number 7. Porcupine if there's anything these rodents are known for, it's the sharp quills all over their bodies. With each of these spikes is about 800 tiny barbs at the tip that are insanely painful and can be hard to remove once inserted in your skin. However, while these spikes may be a perfect weapon against predators, they become a major hazard during childbirth. So, how do mama porcupines give birth to their offspring without getting spiked by their babies? Because these baby porcupines, or more correctly, porcupets, just like their parents, come fully quilled. Well, the good thing is that, for the porcupets, quills initially feel more like fur before hardening into spikes after getting exposed to air. This is great news for the mama porcupines. However, there are times where there may be complications during the birth process, like if the porcupets face the wrong way, for instance. In such cases, the mother porcupine will be left with partially hardened quills stuck in her birth canal, and this could be fatal. Number 6. Kiwi Birds This particular species is a flightless bird that burrows underground. More interestingly, it takes the kiwi bird about an entire month to produce just one egg. When we say just one egg, you might immediately imagine a tiny egg, but that is far from the truth. The kiwi lays the biggest egg in proportion to its body compared to any other bird there. Just that one egg usually takes up about 25% of the bird's body mass. And to give you a mental picture, imagine a pregnant woman giving birth to a four-year-old child. Now, once the egg is laid and hatches, it comes out already well-developed. Baby kiwis immediately know how to run and evade predators from the moment they are born, which is cool but tough. 5. Elephants Indeed, a lot of time and patience goes into making a baby elephant. That is the best way to explain having a gestation period of about 21 months. Now, the size of the baby elephants, or calves as they are correctly named, 
isn't the only interesting thing about these mammals. Amniotic sac is initially pushed out, after which the huge calf follows. The mother then proceeds to blow and rub the sac off her baby so it can properly breathe and move. Once that's done, if the mother belongs to a supportive herd, the other elephants will surround her and the calf to protect them. Number 4. Dwarf Crocodiles As vicious as the African crocodiles may look, it will surprise you just how gentle they can be with their young ones. These reptiles construct mound nests at the side of bodies of water to lay their clutch of up to 10 eggs. The nests keep the eggs out of sight of predators and also protect the eggs from tides. The eggs now hatched, and the mother crocodile will then go ahead to transfer her new hatchlings to the water with her mouth. And if need be, she will also help to take out the shells of her trapped infants with her teeth. 3. Pythons Another egg-laying reptile. It is important to note that the number of eggs laid differs from python to python. However, larger pythons are known to lay up to 100 eggs in just one clutch. As a means of protection, pythons would usually coil themselves around their egg clutch. This is a process referred to as brooding. When the temperatures start to drop, some of these mother pythons would then contract their muscles and shiver. This way, their bodies generate enough heat so the eggs are kept warm. Number 2. Giraffes Giraffes are usually born in a superman position, with their head and front legs coming out first and then their hind side. Due to their insane height, these animals are forced to give birth standing up at about 6 feet to the floor. This is after the 15-month gestation period when the baby giraffes grow to about 220 pounds. Unlike humans, dropping giraffe babies on their heads is a necessary part of the birthing process. And of course, the calf is a lot safer from being squashed at birth this way. Number 1. Octopuses Finally on our list are octopuses. These underwater creatures have the most dramatic childbirths. In their case, giving birth is equivalent to a death sentence, which means they only get to reproduce once in their lives. And this reproduction period always occurs around the end of their short lifespan, which is usually about three to five years. After a mother octopus lays her eggs, she starts counting down to the end of her life. She settles down to care for her eggs, stops feeding, and patiently waits for each one to hatch. Once all the eggs have hatched, the mother octopus then dies, leaving the newly born octopuses to fend for themselves. The males don't have it easy either, as they only get to mate once in their lives. They suffer an even far worse fate because after depositing the sperm into their female partner, the thank you they get is an invitation to the female's digestive system where they will be featured on the dinner menu. Those who don't get eaten die a few months later anyway. So at the end of the day, both parents die. Cruel world, right? Anyway, with that, we've come to the end of this video. Do let us know the craziest way you've seen an animal give birth in the comments below. Also, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. See you next time.